Hey collectors, we are going to do a double review with the power players Bear Barian and Galileo. And I would like to thank Kiko, big and small company for this. Link in the description below. Check them out. Out of the package, Bear Barian comes with his hammer. And Galileo has a tail and his accessory, when combined, becomes a saw cutter. A closer look at the two figures. Galileo has a joint on his jaw so it can be opened. He also has an ab crunch. The tail serves as a support when you are posing him and he is fully articulated. Also, his accessory, the saw, can be clipped on his forearm. With Bear Barian, he has a lot of limitations. One is that the mask cannot be put on his face. Then, his grip, it's too tight and you have to slowly put the hammer into his hands. He also has no articulation on his lower body. So, he will just be standing on your display case. With the other characters that I currently have in this line, Sarge and Axel. My complaints are, Sarge is too short and doesn't have the other accessories that he uses in the series. Galileo is somewhat okay, but he is not that tall. And with Bear Barian, this one has a lot of issues. First, his mask cannot be put on his face. And he is short. He is supposedly around 9 inch in the series and is a stuffed toy that is fully articulated. Last, there is Axel, who is also too tall for his figure. He is supposedly half of the size of every figure here in my display. Playmates didn't think through when they're making this toy line. They mainly focus on the kids which do not have anything to say with the scales and not with the adult collectors. And for size comparison, here they are with Buzz Lightyear from Bandai, Krillin from SH Figure Arts, and Batman from DC Collectibles. And with that, Thank you all for watching. See you again next time.